Whether you're replacing an existing controller or installing one for the first time, Rainbird helps you take control of your irrigation system from anywhere in the world. To get started, choose a mounting location on a wall within six feet of an AC power outlet and away from major appliances or air conditioners. This will help reduce the potential for interference of your Wi-Fi signal from the router. Next, check the Wi-Fi signal at the location using your mobile device. If the signal is weak or doesn't exist, you may want to move either the controller or your router so that they're closer together. You can also add a Wi-Fi signal booster to your network. If you're replacing an existing controller, take a photo of the wiring details. This will be a useful reference when installing the new controller. Unplug the power and take the old unit off the wall. To mount your new controller, drive a screw into the wall, leaving an eighth inch gap between the screw head and the wall surface. Use the keyhole slot to hang the controller securely on the mounting screw. Remove the wire bait cover and drive a second screw through the open hole and into the wall. Next, route all field wires through the opening at the bottom of the controller. Do not route the valve wires through the same opening as the power wires. Using the photo of the wiring details from your old controller, connect one wire from each valve to one of the numbered zone terminals on the controller itself. Depending on your specific model, this controller can accommodate up to eight independent zones, but be sure to connect only one valve wire to each zone terminal. Next, attach the common wire, which is usually white, to the common terminal, marked C. Do not remove the yellow jumper wire unless you're installing a rain freeze sensor, as the controller will not function if this wire is removed and a sensor is not connected. Once you have all wires connected, record which valve wires are associated with their zone on the programming chart that was supplied with the controller. Reference this chart when programming your watering schedule. Next, reinstall the wire bay cover. Plug in the controller power cord. The status light on the front of the controller should start flashing blue, indicating that the controller is powered up and ready to connect. Download the Rainbird app from the App Store or Google Play. Click Add Controller and select Arc Series. If the LED on the controller is flashing blue, select the first option. Otherwise, select the second option and follow the instructions. Next, select the Rainbird controller to connect to it. Rename the controller if desired and click Next. Enter your country as well as your zip code or postal code, then click Next. Set a password for the controller. Re-enter the password and click Next. Click Yes to connect the controller to your local Wi-Fi network. Note, the Wi-Fi network must be broadcasting a 2.4 GHz signal for the controller to connect. Select your local Wi-Fi and enter the password. To finish your setup, schedule your watering schedules using the programming chart you filled out earlier. Happy watering!